Hi loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Faye. It's good to have you here. Please join the family. Click on the subscribe button down below and make sure you hit that bell button so you get notified every time I have a new video up. In this video, we are doing a brown smoky eye look. Yeah, we're doing a brown smoky eye look. So let's get started. So to prep my eyelid for eyeshadow, what I'm going to do first is to take my foundation which is the revolution conceal and define foundation in the shade 13.5 and i'm going to be applying this to the inner and outer edges of my eyes and then in the middle i'll be going in with my la girl pro concealer in the shade fawn work is going back to normal for me and I've, I've so enjoyed staying at home once like for I can't, I can't get my words out so I've enjoyed being at home for a little while so at my office we do like shifts so one um, I have like one week on and one week off and that has been really good for me because it gives me time to shoot videos to do my research and all of that but now work is going back to normal and i won't be having like one week leaves anymore i don't know how i'm going to cope already i'm struggling to stick to an upload routine schedule english is hard we will blend the concealer and the foundation in i'm using my zoeva 142 brush is a concealer buffer brush i'm going to be using this as usual to blend this in like i know you guys not come here to listen to me talk about like corona and all of that but i feel like it's become a part of our lives at this point and really can't like ignore it and pretend that it's not there or escape from it anymore at the beginning of this whole situation i really wasn't keen on coming on here to talk about it because I felt like um, people needed an escape, okay? The fact that outside is open doesn't necessarily mean outside is safe. So I need people to stop acting like the virus does not exist. <laughs> to set the concealer, I'm using my Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 25 medium. Anyway, so now that I have set my concealer for smoky eyes i would normally recommend that you start with a light shade and work your way upwards to the darker shade that you're using so this is my morphe 3502 palette and you guys have seen this over and over again this is what the shades in the palette look like very very neutral shades now i want to do like a warm smoky eye so i'll be taking shades with like an orange undertone right so the first one I'll be starting with is this shade right here. It's like an orange, brown, orange, bent orange. No, it's not a bent orange. It's like an, it's like a brown with like an orange undertone. So I'm going to be taking just a little bit of this and working that into my crease. I, I really really admire the, all of the women who have over the past couple of weeks come to share their story with us and like I think that you guys are the strongest people to ever walk the face of the earth you did not deserve to um, experience any of the things that you experienced but then I'm so so grateful to you guys that you are able to share your story been heartwarming to like see people gather the strength to talk about their abuse and to call out their abusers and while i pray i pray that every woman who has been abused gets to a stage where she can speak her truth i just want everybody to know that it's okay if you you can't tell your story just yet it's it's very okay and if you decide to tell your story, I believe you. 2020 generally has been something else. 
okay so as you guys can see i'm just like building up the brown and blending it into my crease and slightly above it and another thing i've like been really thinking about is how that um the Ghanaian audience the Ghanaian youtube audience really wishes me out because it's like i feel like they would force you to become a comedian i don't want like the audience to like make me lose sight of that fact okay so i get that like if you want the subscribers to want the views you have to do those funny funny things but frankly speaking i don't know i don't know why i here you know so it's gonna be some style it's gonna be crazy at least i'm going to go into this brown shade it's also like a warm tone brown but it's much darker than the first shade and i'm going to be packing that directly into my crease okay personally i don't really like black around my eyes black makes my eyes look much much smaller than they actually are so personally i don't i'm not really a fan of wants give me an attack in this area i'm going to go in with this flat dense brush so this flat dense brush and i'm going to go into this shade this brown shade i'm not sure if it's dark enough to put but i'm going to go in with this just a little bit of this and then build it up so i get like dark brown all over my lid okay let's do this okay it's, it's not bad brown smoky eyes on other people i don't think i've ever done a brown smoky eye on myself and i really like how it looks like it's softer than a black smoky eye but then it's also really dramatic and you could pop like some glitter on it to take it to the next level or just decide to leave it matte and then it looks it still looks just as good okay so that's it for the eyes for now i'm going to go off camera do the rest of my face then come back and come and do the lower lash line and my lips so i'll be right back so guys i'm done with the rest of my face for highlights, I use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. For contour, I use my Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the shade Mocha. To set the concealer underneath my eyes, I used my Maybelline Fits Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 25 Medium. And then for blush, I used my Dual Blush from nika k new york so i use the orange shade from the dual blush and then i mixed a little of the orange shade with a little bit of powder from my zikel 12 in one face kit to um bronze up my face okay yeah so basically that's all i did for the rest of my face so for underneath my eyes i'm going to be using a brown pencil to like line my waterline you can decide to go with a black pencil but as i said i don't really like black around my eyes so i'm using this brown pencil this is a um an eyeliner pencil from davis cosmetics but it's pretty pigmented so it will show up on my lower or my lash line my eye be disgracing me sometimes okay so for my lower lash line i'm going to go back in with the same shades that i used up top i'm starting with the lighter shade which is that orangey brown shade from my morphe 502 palette so this shade right here and i'm going to be applying that all over my lower lash line as tightly as i possibly can using this fluffy 
blending brush i don't want to switch out my brushes and that's what so i'm going to start towards the edge and i'm going to be using circular motions to blend so that i have like a smooth blend between whatever is going on on the top of my eyes and whatever is down here okay so so i'm going to take this um slanted well, it's a brow line brush so it's a zoeva 322 brow line brush i'm going to go into this brown shade which is like the second shade that i use and i'm going to use this closer to my lash line to blend in let's say even what i'm saying okay so i'm just going to use this on my lower lash line as well and then the final step for this eye look is to go in with this dark brown shade and then press it much much closer to my waterline i'm using the same slanted brush to do this step Okay, so for mascara, I'm using this e.l.f. volumizing mascara. I'm going to be using it on my top and bottom lashes. And then I will be applying my false lashes. So I'm just doing this so that the false lashes marry better. Look like more seamless and flawless. Okay, I'll do my lashes. I'll come and do my inner tear socks, my inner corners, and then I'll show you guys the lip combo that we're doing with this beautiful eye look. Okay, be right back. Okay, love, so I have put on my lashes. For my inner tear ducts, I'm going to take the pencil brush and I'm going to be applying this shade right here. Okay, let me use the shade. So I'm going to be putting this shade right here, right into my inner tear duct area. Okay. Now for my lips, I'm going to be using my Evita Joseph lip gloss. So this is the Evita Joseph lip gloss league in utility but before i use this i'm going to be lining my lips with a brown pencil so now i'm now going to take my evita joseph lip gloss league in the shade utility and apply it all over my lips okay love so this is the end of the video this is the completed look i tied up my hair like this because i have cornrows underneath i would really like to keep it like that because i cannot do my cornrows by myself and this is how i normally go out if i'm running an errand or just like taking a walk or going out casually or anything so I tied up my hair and my jewelry is from the jewelry hub on instagram i'll leave a link to the page in the description down below so definitely check them out as usual all the products that i use are also listed in the description so definitely check that out if you want to see the particular products that i use uh if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for how to make subsequent videos and my channel in general better i would really love to hear from you guys let me know how you're coping with the whole situation what your thoughts are on everything that i talked about in the first part of the video talk to me guys i just want to hear from you so definitely feel free to leave me a comment yeah so i guess that's it and i'm signing off now i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one if you aren't subscribed to my channel you should definitely subscribe if you're interested in hair and makeup content <laughs> bye guys